a green transition could create 8.4 million jobs for young people by 2030, according to a report by the International Labour Organization that is being highlighted on International Youth Day. Green jobs are described as jobs that contribute to preserving or restoring the environment. Here are the details. In the lead-up to the SDG Summit in September, marking the halfway point for implementation of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, the United Nations is calling on young people to be better equipped to deal with these new green opportunities through skills and training programs. The UN's International Fund for Agriculture Development, IFAD, has already been implementing this idea by funding young herbs in nine countries across Africa to give young people skills that they need to convert into sustainable jobs. These young women in Abeokuta, in Nigeria, are busy growing vegetables in specially created poly tunnels. They say they feel fortunate to have found a job and a steady income. There is no job, so the rate is very high. We have more of youth unemployed than the ones that are employed in my region. With youth unemployment rate standing at 13% in Nigeria, millions of young people struggle to find work. Babatunde Oluwada Salomi, a youth hub participant from Nigeria, is a beneficiary. A young entrepreneur who is now enjoying the benefits of this program. Nearly half of Nigerians live in rural areas. With poor job prospects in these areas, young people are high among those who migrate to already overcrowded city in search of work. Projects like this one that use smart technology are designed to create sustainable job opportunities in the countryside. The UN's International Fund for Agriculture Development, IFAD, is working with local governments to fund youth hubs, which provide rural young people with on-the-job training through apprenticeship. The agribusiness youth hubs are based on the idea that training alone cannot unlock the employment potential for young people. Instead, they also connect them to private companies and enterprises and help give them access to goods and services and training in areas such as commodity value chains and post-harvest management, which otherwise they would find difficult to access. Tomalio has learned skills in soilless farming. The increased frequency of drought in Nigeria has contributed to land degradation and crop loss. The technique Tomalio is learning uses much less water and soil than used in traditional farming to produce vegetables. It was this new technology that attracted her to the job. When I got to learn about soilless farming, I got to see that, no, this is actually different from what I know, what I have learned in school, what, I, what I've been taught. So because of the unique way of farming, I guess one of the things that inspired me to also continue in this line. Youth hubs are currently operating in nine countries across the continent, including Nigeria, Algeria, and Cameroon. Lionel Ateba was hoping to get a good job after he finished his degree, but struggled to find work in his hometown of Penja in Cameroon. Lionel found an apprenticeship in Cameroon through the Youth Hub. He was trained by Family Green Corporation to make biofertilizer and charcoal. He now is a manager there and is passing on his knowledge to other young people. Après notre soutenance, after my degree, my friends and I stayed home searching for jobs. But many businesses were not recruiting fresh graduates. Not only do we train young people on a daily basis, we also train students who are leaving school for university. 
knowing that you can come out of school and directly have a job where you can gain experience over time is something wonderful. I hope that it continues for our youth and generations to come. Tu peux acquérir de l'expérience avec le temps grâce au FIDA et au projet Joy, c'est quelque chose de merveilleux. The scheme is beneficial for the company, the employee and the environment. Herbert Chegwa, owner Family Green Corporation in Cameroon, explained the benefits of the biofertilizer and charcoal they are making. Mais notre engrais est un engrais organique. Our fertilizer is organic, natural fertilizer, and has no bad effects on consumers. And also, the ecological charcoal reduces deforestation in surrounding communities. Ifad's technical specialist on youth, Rahul Antao, says the agribusiness hub played a vital role in tackling the huge issue of mass unemployment among young people in rural areas. So the focus is on addressing the mismatches and gaps between the supply of youth skills and the demand of labor markets. It also focuses on building the capacity of entrepreneurial youth to either start up or expand existing enterprises. So far, the hubs have trained and found jobs for over 9,000 rural youth in more than 2,255 enterprises across Africa. To meet the growing demand in green economies, the hubs invest strategically in training, in digitization, green skills, and renewable energies. Timothy Omondi, GBS News.